chunkers that just came out Woo! I could feel it today Tom too it's gonna be a good day dude yeah already What we classify a good season is our carrot count, everybody coming home safe. I expect good things over the next couple of two or three weeks, a great push towards the end of the season. And we've got a big exposure opened up, so we really got to pay attention. We're going to clean out all the pockets, and so the mount is really important. I mean, we're just hitting like crazy. It's going to be beautiful. As par here on Antero, uh, we're getting more static electricity up here. That means the atmosphere is charging. So we're just going to get Emma down in the pocket. We opened up a zone yesterday. I think it'd be nice and safe for her to get into. We'll see if we can get her some blue and just kind of hit those pockets. Just going to watch the weather and we're going to go ahead and go down and, and do it. And hopefully we'll find some blue. We got a decomposed area here. And when I say decomposed, it's basically weathered. You can see, this is just decomposed granite. And it's a good sign because the crystals that'll be left behind is a little smoky there. A little smoky point, but see, decomposing. Freeze, thaw, melt, ice, water, weather. The mountains is just a grinding, moving plate of, of water and voids. So uh, this is a fine example of it. That's also a good thing because at some point, hopefully, there'll be a nice aqua pocket. I'm seeing Smokies. I've got a nice one in the wall right here. Yeah. Yeah. Nice little point. So I'm thinking this is gonna wrap around behind that boulder and connect over where you're at because the pegmatite is shooting that way. It's actually running linear. That's a good one. Point that just came out. It's a good one. Starting to get well formed crystals now. Come on, blue. Smokies. That looks good, Emma. Be real careful as you oh, go to it. Uh oh, Emma's got some blue. What? Nice. The game changes to slow down, methodically scrape. Because now you want to take your time, go through the pocket. There you go. Get some more blue. Nice. It's not quite Jimmy yet, but that is a great sign. So that iron staining is always a great sign, and now you're finding blue. We don't have that much longer for the season, so time is money. That's a good one. Look at this smoky that just popped out. It's going to even look better once we wash it. So now when we see them like this, this is a great sign. So I'm going to dig right here and I'm going to see you know, just how far in I can get because it's still kind of frozen, but a lot of it has melted. All down in here, this is the smoky crystal that we're looking for. So we're just waiting for it to kind of melt. And as I'm pulling stuff out, you know, they're just coming out, but they're broken and I don't want them to be broken. So I'm just gonna try to let it melt some more and just see what we can get. <sighs> Yeah, babe. Some smoky, it's broken, but everything's melting, so who knows? Some blue may pop. 
Here's some good little smoky points down here. It's a good one. Yeah. There's a couple more. Some of them are broken. But this is a really good sign. There's another good little point. So I'm gonna keep working this area for a little bit, see if some blue pops. It's broken, but it's still, it's a beautiful point and we'll take it. And now hopefully the blue's behind it and we're gonna hit a big pocket today. What we've got here is more of a pink feldspar. This pink feldspar has got a little bit of iron in it. You can kind of see right there, which iron is good with aquamarine and barrel. Gives you a darker blue. So you gotta pay attention to that. So emma has got a nice pocket opened up here, a little bit of blue coming out. But I think it still needs a little bit more, a little bit more work to get down to where I think we're gonna get some goodies. Oh. First aqua that just rolled out. And we'll just pop your first aqua. Emma's on the blue. She just rolled her first one out. Emma, that's beautiful. That is a clean stone. That's about a 10 carat. Look at that, Emma. Wow. That was really pretty. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's a flawless, about 15 carat stone. Wow, that's a gorgeous stone. I still remember the first time I found my first crystal with my dad. Emma just found her first crystal with her dad and the legacy kind of continues. I'm so proud of her. She was persistent, staying in this pocket. The first crystal just popped out. And you know, um, there is a ritual when you find your first crystal. <laughs> pop in your mouth and you clean it up it is absolutely flawless that is one of the cleanest stones that I think I've ever seen come out of a pocket I bet she puts this in a nice wire wrap there you go sweetheart all right so we got some blue now what do we do we slow down right mm -hmm. so let's put you want to go ahead and put it in here all right so you got your blue let's keep working there we got to go honey the Keep pushing, but for right now, we're going to cover this hole up. So, any claim jumpers that come by, they're not going to see our open pocket here. So, we're out of here. Weather's starting to bark a little bit. It's time to roll. Good job, Emma. Yeah, so right now the, the antenna and the FJ is buzzing. So electricity, it's trying to find its ground. And uh, right now, this is one of its options. Good day, got a little bit of material. The days are gonna get shorter. The weather is gonna start to kick up a notch. We'll just keep pushing in, see how, see how it goes. It's just such a bummer because we'd get into such good pockets today. So I just know that there's blue in there as well. And we don't wanna risk it, so we'll just try it again tomorrow. How are you? Good. Good. It's good to see you, brother. Good to see you too. How was your trip? It was good. It was it was nice. It was a great break to get away from Houston. We've got Corey Moore from JM Jewelry coming in. It, it's one of those weeks that we're really producing a lot of aquamarine. We kind of want to show him uh, what's coming out of the mountain. That's always good for our cutters to see that side of the business. Well, we're glad you're here. Perfect timing. We've got uh, some great blue that's coming off the mountain. So we're into the really, really huge zone. So you can see the size of the crystals that we got coming yeah, out. Nice. Really good color of blue, elongated, hexagonal. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got a lot of etching in them so your, mm -hmm. your your cutters are gonna have to get down there and find the sweet spot but sure. uh, you know from a quality standpoint it's our best yet yeah it looks great color looks great and they look like 
we're gonna produce some large, you know, cut stones. Yeah. So this is the farm to table, man. Absolutely. You know, off the mountain, off, off the quarry. Yeah. And you ready to get up top? Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to it. But first things first. We, we need we, to see that diamond. We need yeah, to, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Let me show you this thing. We've been working this year more so ever on a lot of engagement rings. So he's bringing in a really special diamond that a client that's been going back and forth with some custom designs. So we're looking forward to seeing that diamond. Do you mind if I borrow your tweezers here? Absolutely, absolutely. Thank absolutely. you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's that gorgeous. Is stunning. Oh Take my a look gosh. at that beautiful diamond. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. She's going to be stunned. You know, there's been a lot of, of going back and forth, but you know, until you see the diamond and that really kind of yeah. puts the icing on the cake, so it's to speak. Beautiful. Yeah, you make a good point because those digital designs, those renderings, they can't capture that brilliance, yeah. right? You can't right. really mimic that except for seeing it in real life. Well, speaking about seeing it in person, what do you say we get up the mountain and get you down into the to the zone? Absolutely, man. Yeah, yeah I'm looking forward mm -hmm. to it. Let's head up. Let's do it, man. Okay. So great visit with him. Uh, got to go through a lot of the material. So now we're gonna get him up on the mountain to see where the material's coming from, see it coming out of the ground. He has that connection to where he can tell his clients, hey, I was in the mine standing there when they mined this stone here. I'm Corey with J&M Jewelry doing our annual visit to the, uh, to the aquamarine claims up here. Uh, the weather's kind of kind of giving us some issues today, so we're gonna be expeditious. They're gonna show me some pockets that they've found. It's really awesome to get Corey up here to be able to see where these gems actually come out of the earth. Here they are, right here. First time ever to see the earth. A little bit of blue there. A little bit of blue. Yeah. This thing's cool. There you go. That's blue. I just walk up, start picking up pieces. It's all here, dude. This whole little, I feel like this whole little batch is just filled with it. Look at it. I think this rain is helping expose a lot of this, huh? Yeah. You see that? Yeah, right there. there you go. Right here. Go sweat. Here. Not there, bro. There you go. Everywhere we look around here, it's pretty much just scattered with blue hue showing us that this is a great area for you know continued surface digging and just following the trail for more aqua here. I mean this is uh, pretty amazing to see everything just kind of scattered all over the ground and I think the rain is, is helping us find some of this stuff that's close to the surface exposing. Yeah, it's not just aquamarine we're finding. We're pulling out pretty large pieces of smoky <laughs> stuff coming out. Man. You know, look at look at what, what Josue's got here. Just for us, so y'all still having a yep. lot of problems with claim jumping, huh? I mean, I know it's called something. You get people that you know you hear in their backpack, you hear their tools clanking, <laughs> and they're like, "I'm not. I, I'm I'm just hiking." Okay. You Why got, do you have shovels and picks? You got a chisel in your hand, dude. What are you, what are you talking about? You're not a claim jumper. You got a hammer in one hand and a chisel in the other, and you're not claim jumping. You want to yeah. see the road, you should see the road, isn't it? Oh, look at this piece. Just picked up on the surface Man, there. Clean that off. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Oh, I just dropped. Oh shit! I totally just dropped. What? Hold on, 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 hold on. Got it. Okay. <laughs> wow! Did you see that? It was just on the surface, man. It's actually this is actually the first crystal I found, like you know, decent crystal out here. Put that down. I'm sure you'll get a nice one out of there. I see some inclusion in there, but cut that end off. Yeah. Yeah. This is a good stone. Here, bro. Nice, right? Nice find. Fine. Heck yeah. That's a nice, like, five carat stone. Dude, that's awesome. Just uh, stumbled across this nice find, and uh, it's good gym grade aquamarine, and uh, it's pretty amazing to see this sitting on the surface just like that. Check this out. Look at that. This guy. Is that gonna. Yeah, a little sidecar riding up on it. 
What? Where? Right there? Yeah, right here. On the surface, man. Right there. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> And yeah, I mean, this bench here, my goodness, it's like Candyland. They just keep popping out. Yeah, I work with gyms all day long, and this is really a different perspective of the process. It's really amazing to see the kind of farm to table or farm to market in the world of gemstones. This is it, man. This is where the, the treasure's coming out of the mountain. The uh, weather is blowing in over here, so looks like it's just just starting to reach us, so we're gonna get out of here pretty quick so uh, we don't get caught in any nasty storms. Well, today's a special day. Uh, I got my father, Jerry Royce, and my uncle, Richard Royce, up here, we call him Rick. And they never pulled a raw gemstone out of the ground before, so today we're gonna see if we can make that happen. I'm gonna take him over to the uh, area that we're working and see if we can pull some blue. So you got aqua all in this? I mean, is this whole thing you think full of aqua? Or oh what? yeah, yeah. There's aqua marine everywhere. Damn. Yeah. Beautiful nice view. view. Yeah. yeah. You know. I That's mean, why I, I like tell your, people that I have. I a like great, your office. Yeah, I tell them that I have a great office view. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. But and so, what, what does the excavator do? It actually comes down in here. Yeah. Yeah, it comes yeah. down here. So what we do is we prospect the whole area. We yeah. dig out all the pockets to where we can't dig no more solid ice or whatnot. Yeah. And then he comes in, he'll give it a scrape, and then my job is to locate pockets before they get pulled by the excavator. That's pretty cool. That, that million dollar pocket, baby. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're in a cloud. The weather is obviously getting worse here. Um, we're in a we're in a cloud of rain and sleet, so it's definitely making our job harder. We're dealing with ice still. Ice is obviously not melting because we have no sun, so it's making the conditions quite hard. Good indicators that we're having some. This is all blue barrel right here. This is a good sign. This is a good indication that uh, aqua marine is present. So. Um, we are going to bag some of this and uh, get the excavator to keep on working um, back here to get into the gem quality of aqua. We got some stuff right here. Look at that aqua. We got a couple good chunkers that just came out. Got into a small little pocket here. Damn. Yeah, this is actually just you seen it firsthand. Just popped wow. yeah. right out when I stuck my shovel in there, you know. And now we are starting to uh, extract some aquamarine. 
Yeah, wow. there's, there's yeah, some right in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there's some all in there. Big chunks of uh, smoky quartz, so that can so tell. What that's why. Is? Yeah, that's exactly what that is. Ah! Right there, huh? You. Yeah. <laughs> I do. It gets me pumped. Look at that, Tomas. Nice, that's good stuff. Look at that, Tom. Want a bag? Let's go. Sure. Into a, uh, <laughs> into a faceted gemstone, you know. Now I see all that blue right there. That's just the blue. Oh, yeah, what's that's right? Blue barrel. That it's blue barrel. A, yeah, it's just an indication of what is in the area. Um, sometimes these little blue barrels will lead to more aquamarine, but you know, for the most part, it's fried material. He's moving the machine in here, and we're scraping it inch by inch looking for indicators of pocket material. Find it or what? Yeah, I got another one. Hey, look at all that. Got another little pocket. It's pretty impressive operating so there. So what I'll do is I'll come through all this, get the gem quality stuff out of here, and then we'll bag the rest of this. If I could feel it today, Tom, it's gonna be a good day, dude. It's good so far. Yeah, already. Area here, we believe that there's more pegmatite in pocket in there. Yeah, we're going to extract the gem quality aqua out of this pocket, and we're going to bag the rest of it, and we'll go through the rest of the bag later. Yes, man, this is my favorite time, bro. Yeah, yeah. Back in the saddle again, Tom. Got a bag. Woo! Yeah, I'll put it in the bag. Blue, 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 blue. I mean, yeah. that's uh, glad for you guys to come up and yeah. I mean, to come up and works. see how you're doing this yeah, and all, you know, good. it's pretty cool. You know, I just you know, family saying, Where's Jason? Yeah, he's up on the mountain, <laughs> yeah. you know, the goats and stuff. All those bags actually have some material oh, in yeah. it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I know that there's more in there. It's impressive, son. I'm proud of you. Shit, yeah. thanks, thanks, dad. You know, that's pretty cool. So what do you guys say that we go and head out and uh, get to the truck and call it a day? Sounds good. Yeah, yeah I'm freezing yeah. my butt off. The conditions are not so great right now, so I think we're going to pack it up for the day and head down the mountain. We was able to extract some pretty good gemstones today, so I'm more than happy. And uh, I think my dad and my uncle are as well. What you do is, it's pretty cool. I just wish the sun was shining. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. The uh, front seat. Uh, Jason's father and his uncle up today showing him what he does. Special day for him and you know really makes me miss my dad a lot. Wish them well and they're on the blue. It's been a long week you know we've we've had a, a good exposure. Tom and Jason are killing it down at the bottom. Emma did really good sniffed out of pocket and found her first stone the other day so that was really special. So yeah we're gonna keep pushing on that and uh, try to finish out the year in that same zone. Everybody wants to have a really high quality team to work with. That's what we got this year. It's just been really exciting. As you can see, the weather's coming in and this season is creeping really close to an end. We'll just keep pushing in.